Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I can't remember a time I was this excited to open anything really. I mean this is the UNSC Spartan armor pack and I seem to be going from one high to the next. I mean I'm excited to open all of the mega constructs from 2020 but this one I mean look at it. Just look at this set. It is an outrageous set for, for such a cheap price point. I've been with Mega Constructs for 11 years now, and I have never seen this many armors in a set, let alone one that's so cheap. And like, not only do you get two Spartans with all this reach customization and muzzle flares and all those weapons, you also get a Brute Warrior as well. He seems to just be thrown in there. This seems like just the most beautiful set. I am about to tear this open and we've got enough base jumpsuits here to build all of the Spartans. So this is gonna be a very exciting day indeed. Excuse me, Craig and Elites. I need this space. Wow. So, I mean, even just the packaging, folks, like look at those beautiful trees in the background. It's really, you know, and also, do Mega Constructs know something that we don't? Do all these toy companies know something that we don't? Because they're all making Halo Reach toys. Even the new World of Halo scale has a cat figure and like loads of other Reach figures. What is Mega Constructs not telling us? Also, what is Halo not telling us? Reach 2? Reach Remastered? Something's going on. I don't know. I mean, these are all Reach armors. We don't even get a Spartan Mark 7 in this. Whoa! That, um... <laughs> that was not successful. Come on. This is the most awkward packaging I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so the packaging I'd say is maybe a little too good. All right, let's just, wait, just tip it all out. Let's just get it all on the table. Oh, even the helmets are still in there. Come on, boys. All of this mega constructs goodness. Where do you start? Put these bags aside for a second and let's have a look at what we've got here okay so two spartans we've got a recon this sort of outland skirmish recon and a grenadier and then we've also got a brute warrior now this brute is very interesting i thought it was the exact same as the skiff intercept brute at first but actually it's slightly different i love when mega constructs makes it so they all fit together so they're very, very similar, but they've got different colored chests. And this one actually comes with all the armor pieces. The Skiff Intercept is notorious for only coming with one shoulder and one leg piece, but this one has the whole deal. And he's also, he's quite similar to the Brute Warrior from Halo Hero Series 12, except I guess the helmets are a little bit different. That's the main standout feature. Okay, so very nice Brute Warrior. He comes with a gravity hammer. It's nothing particularly special, but it's a really nice one all the same. And then he is going to take the back seat for the most of this review because there is so much to unpack from all of this Spartan glory. The Spartan Recon was what excited me the most about the set at first. And I had some interesting comments actually when I made my review on the Banshee Breakout. My Recon doesn't actually have a colored front chest piece, which people like Brian from Toa of Ultimate Doom pointed out. And this one does. So this is what it's meant to look like. This is just a defect, I guess. This is, this is wrong. So we've got these two figures and they are beautiful. The purple visor is an interesting new thing. Look at that. You can really see how it reflects there. That's beautiful. And then it's got some really nice detail on these bullet casings on the front, like a nice brown sort of bronze strip going down. There's so many colors here. It's what Mega Constructs are doing best at the minute. It's what they should be praised for the most. So much color, so many paint apps, so many different depths, like depths of field to the figure. Like it adds like a 3D volume when you add so many different colors. The two arms, they're slightly different shades, slightly different colors. Like everything is really well executed here. Even these nice little black markings on his helmet. Awesome. We also get, what weapons do we have? We have an assault rifle and the new bulldog shotgun. As you can see here, we can build a lot more than these two. There's the three base figures. And we also get these muzzle flares. These muzzle flares come in two pieces, which is really interesting and a really cool way of Mega Constructs to do it because you can attach it together for one big muzzle flare to attach onto someone's gun, or you can detach it into two, and then you can have essentially four muzzle flares from one set, because this comes with two sets. 
And I believe this is the first set that has ever come with two muzzle flares. Usually they just come with one set of two pieces. But yeah, you can have two of these bad boys, which is very generous from Mega Constructs. And really, like, the muzzle flares are just so wonderful. Look how, look immediately they just bring the figures to life so much more. So, moving on to the rest of the figures. We'll put these three aside, and we have got all of these extra accessories. I can see three grenades in here, and we've got the Brute Mangler pistol, and the extra sidekick pistol here. So that's awesome because you can give weapons to all of your figures if you choose to build all of them, which is really nice. And then we've got these helmets here. All Halo Reach, we've got the Gungnir, we've got EVA, Commando, and Operator. And all of them have different colored visors, which is so interesting. A gold, silver, and another purple visor and this silver here. I mean, that's just so epic. Okay, I found another grenade there. That's four. So the question is, how are we gonna display all of these armors? I've got four jumpsuits here, and I'm going to, you know, do, do my best to assemble the armor correctly. Like, obviously, they're, they're not the correct armor colors, or, or really in the right order, because this is, you know, Grenadier, and he's wearing the EVA chest plate, but the EVA chest plate is not you know, bronze or whatever this color is, gray. So they're not going to be exact. Maybe in a future video, if you would like me to do it, I could try and assemble them in game accurate armor variations. This is definitely George's chest plate. So I guess we'll swap over George and we'll have him with kind of his chest plate. This is all gonna be a bit higgledy-piggledy, but we'll, we'll make it up as we go along. We've got all of these pieces here. There are a lot of small pieces with this set, a lot of pieces indeed. These must be attachments for the weapons. Wow, and a silencer too. We are spoiled with this set. Okay, I switched out this back piece. That looks much better with George. It seems like these sets don't come with any leg straps, but that's okay. EVA next. That looks really nice. That looks really nice. Look at that. He's like a stealth operative. That's awesome. And then we've got the Spartan Operator. And Mega Constructs, as I've been saying in my last few videos, just again and again being so generous with the amount of pieces and the amount of figures that they're including in their sets. And this, there is no better example than this set right here. Look at those, they're really awesome. We've got some leg pieces to go with them. A lot of these figures are actually originally ODSTs, so they've got some silver leg pieces, but I think the silver will pop really nicely with the black undersuit. Let's have a look if it does. Yeah, not bad, honestly, not bad. That could, that could be a lot worse. That could definitely be a lot worse. I like that. Would you look at that? The silver on this one pops with the visor of the Gungnir. That's not bad at all. Okay, I gave my Grenadier the other silver pieces because I want this operator to be in full stealth mode. You will never see him coming. <laughs> look at that from one set. I mean, granted, yes, I had to provide my own figures for the rest of them, but you can easily get figures in blind bags. Just look out for black jumpsuit ones. They're the best. And look at that, that's outrageous. You get so many figures there. The sniper rifle, the assault rifle, both of these are from Halo Heroes Series 12, and we've just kitted a full fire team out. Look at them. I don't think this brute warrior stands a chance. Or does he? He's got some reinforcements. All of the Craig boys, there we go. <laughs> that is a proper fight. I mean, I'm gonna definitely make a diorama out of these guys. Okay, what else do we have? We've got these scopes that can slide onto the rifles, just like that. Wow, so it's a silenced scoped assault rifle. That is decked out. Okay, yeah, that slid onto the bulldog. I don't know if it slid too far. Okay, that's a nice little accessory. And then even more, we've got another scope as well. I don't even know where to put this scope. You decide how that works, but it's got two accessories now. It's got two scopes on it. Jeez, I have, I have never been so impressed with a set, guys. I don't think I have ever been so impressed with the range of figures, the quality of figures, and all these accessories as well. And would you believe it that we're not even done yet? We still have more to unpackage from this. 
Let's give the muzzle flare to the mangler. There we go. It seems like the sidekick pistol can't really have any accessories, but that's okay. So moving these aside for a second, we've got one more bag. And one more shout out again to Bam Bam Productions for hooking me up with this set. Here we go. We've got a nice little ammunition crate. I love that red that pops and matches the Banshee perfectly. Now I bet you thought this video couldn't get any more awesome. Well, you're wrong guys. It's time for the Craig Show. Haha, <laughs> it's where we swap out all of our Spartan boys with Craig heads. I think this YouTube channel is becoming the most dedicated to the Craig meme on the internet. <laughs> oh, it's cool how you've got two different shades of Craig as well. 50 shades of Craig. Oh no, that's not a good meme. The number one Craig. There. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta clean this up. Did you know that if you say the word Craig in a mirror 10 times, he will appear in the night? <laughs> there we go. This is, I mean, look at this thing. I don't think anyone would contest with me that this is the best value for money set, arguably ever. Look at all of those figures you can make, all of these Halo Reach-esque figures, for just a low price of like $10, $15. That's amazing. This was another video with The Domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a full diorama of these Spartans together. It would be my pleasure. And the Grenadier is signing off. <laughs> <laughs>